Hello everybody, today I'm look we're looking at all of the brigades that I built. Well, I didn't build all of them. Um, there, uh, I have, um, two of them are, um, manufactured by Lego, and I did keep them together because some other, um, things. I might destroy them in the future, but I don't, uh, but I really don't know. So, let's take a look at uh, all the brickheads. These are the brickheads that I'm keeping together. We have Yoda and Newt. They're both very nice brickheads, I'd say. This one I'm keeping together because it's adorable. I mean, look at it. And then... This one I'm keeping together because I have a character that doesn't look like the character that, it's lo that, it, that it kind of is without this character next to it, so yeah. So that's why I'm keeping this one together. I mean, any uh, otherwise, I would definitely destroy him for his all of his nougat pieces. Look at this, just, yeah. Just makes me want to destroy it, but I'm not going to destroy it. I'm going to hold myself back. But, alright, now let's take a look at some of the other brickets I've made. So let's start with the video game characters I made in the Brickheads. This is Chell. Um, I updated her. Uh, uh, I did a how to build on this, but since then I updated her, and she and she looks really good. Um, getting these colors were incredible, and I loved that. I was able to get all these colors in in her. Um, I even made her a little potatoes and a portal gun, because I didn't have the official Lego portal gun. Whatever. But, um, I really like the hair. I updated the hair to make it look good. And then, she also has movable arms. I just put 2x2 two two jumpers under there. But, other than that, there's really nothing to say more about this. So now, let's move on to this other video game character that I've made. So, here is Granny. Um, it's from the popular mobile game, Granny. I really like this extended mouth. I just did it with jumper plates. Um, the hair, I think there's just enough hair. Not too little, not too much. Um, very nice sides. Um, I did the ears. There's a. I even gave her her signature bat. So she can... Yeah. Not gonna say it on this channel. But, um... So she can uh, destroy your victims. Uh, yeah, that's what she does. She it's a horror game, so don't don't be mad at me. It's a horror game. So yeah, um, and I really like at the top how I just put some random white studs in random places, and I really like this part usage of uh, this one has movable arms too. It has different arms, but I really like this part usage of the um, the uh, grill plate, uh, the grill plate, which is, um, the gear plate, where they have, like, gear things up there, because it's real, it look it looks like staggered hair of a grand, uh, of a grandma, and this is definitely staggered hair of a grandma. Her, st eh, and there's debates of what color her dress is, and what color her eh, skin is, but I went with white and dark gray, and gray, because that's what I had. So now let's move on to book. Of uh, of characters from books for video uh, for um brickheads. Here is the only brickheads character that I have from a book. It is um Emily from the Amulet series, which is a comic book series made by K Kazoo Kablishi. Is it? I don't. I, I'm probably I probably butchered that name, but uh, whatever. Um. I really like this hair, how it's bunched up. I got the hair color from Sally. Pro uh, Sally, um, This kind of cape is just at the right a angle where it cannot touch it. Um, I even got the little amia in there with a purple brown stud. Oh, no, um, plate. Wait, no, tile, I meant to say. You know what I meant. Um, so I have, and then I gave her staff because uh, she uses it as a weapon in the books. And, well, also she uses it to help her with her powers, I guess. I guess with the stone. And then 
yeah, this is a nice character. I was very nice and able to do this. And that hint I gave you in the X-Wing video, this is what it led up to. Um, I, it, there was a two in there, and I was going to make a second character, and that was going to be Trellis from the same book. But um, that I canceled that project because getting his skin color right and uh, um, getting... Uh, because um, I think it was like around a sand blue, and I did not have any sand blue pieces, and getting a right color of... Everything is just hard, and even the even the uh, the elf ears getting those were even hard. And so yeah, so now let's move on to movies. Um, so yeah, let's move on to movies. And here is my only movie me upper kid that I've made that is custom. It's Niffler. Um, this is the one that looks like. Uh, that only looks like the character that I want it to be when when it's next to, uh, when it's next to the character that actually looks like the char character <laughs> it's kind of like the character I honestly like it it's super cute to me um I like how I did the arms and this play feature is just adores me you can take out this come on come on uh Come on. Um, come on. And then... Gold. Gold falls out. If, you're, if you've ever seen Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, you know that he has a little pouch for his gold and his riches. Well, you can pour out gold. You can take out the uh, the belly which, uh, which and arms and... You get his gold. You can uh, pull out his gold. Um, yeah, so it really is a fun play feature. So yeah, um, you just yeah, and it's fun. Um, this is in three by three style. So yeah, and then you just pour out the thing, and yeah. So now let's move on to hold on. Come on. All right. Now let's move on to actual animals in life. Here is a red panda, or aka my favorite animal. <laughs> it is an adorable thing. This is, in the 3x3 style, it is an a one of the animal characters. I have two more animal characters. I have one more animal character. This tail is kind of very nice, but it, it really needs to stay down because uh, it looks so weird like this. This, uh, these, um, I gave him a stick, uh, uh, maybe it's like a dead bamboo, I don't know. Um, I liked how I packed in all of his white markings. There's just so much white on him. And then also, if you're wondering why there's a bird egg in here, well, um, this is gonna get a little bit dark, but they actually eat bird eggs. I know, I know. It's it's dark. It is dark. Um, they eat bird eggs. Uh, well, uh, sorry about that. But um, have uh, have uh, but uh, yeah, they eat bird eggs. So yeah. Um, next, let's move on to a uh, the second animal character that we have today. Mm -hmm. Here we have Izzy. This is an adorable brickhead. Izzy is my dog, if you don't know. Um, I have never posted her on anything or anything like that. But um, I thought, why not make a small little uh, character of her. And she turned out super cute. It is ta way taller than a normal 3x3 brickhead. But who cares? It's adorable, and it and it it looks like a puppy. Like it's and she's not a puppy at all. Like it's so cute. It it scales down my dog to a great scale. Um, I think Izzy. We think Izzy is a mutt, but we don't know, like, what kind of. Uh, we don't know what kind uh, what do kind of dog she is. Um. 
she, is she, um, people say, I think she, my mom said she has, she has a little bit of Rottweiler in her. But this is a very nice brick head, and I really love it. The stand is very nice. I really like how I did the front legs. And she does have no accessories, but whatever. Um, this is super cute, and I really love it. So now, let's go on to real people. Which, I think you know what the last one is. So here is my last bracket. It's me. It's very nice. Um, it has movable arms. And it has a hood. Um, this uh, design for the outfit is off of my winter coat. It's my winter outfit. I have three more outfits for this thing. Um, the hair is very nice. The hair always, the hair on the head always stays on it, though. And, yeah. And then you can switch it by, put, uh, by switching out the body. And it's so cool. I really like it. Um, I really do like the hair. Sorry. Uh, are you kidding me, phone stand? Um, it is very nice. But, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, sorry. My phone stand just, uh, broke. I made a small little phone stand for my Legos. Sorry. Um, yeah. Because I couldn't hold up my phone. Yeah. But, um, this is a nice briquette. I really like the pufferiness of the jacket. Now I will show you his three other outfits. And this is my soccer brickhead. It does have movable arms and a nice soccer ball little thing on there. It's a sticker from the Go Brick Me set. And I really like how I captured all the colors. And yes, I do play soccer. Here is my um, cross country outfit. If you're wondering what this is, it's an S, um, uh, my team, <laughs> yeah, um, there's S on my, jer on my cross country jersey, so yeah, um, I tried to make it, but, uh, it on the front, but it was super hard, so just give me some slack there, I made my, I had to make myself a little bit taller to even do it, and it, it just it is not 3D on the jersey though, so I just tried to do it. So, yeah, um, and then it looks very nice, and I really love this brickhead. So, and now on to my last outfit. And here is my last version uh, uh, of, of myself as a brickhead. It is my, is my formal outfit, um, or just not formal, but like, just like everyday outfit. Um, this is what I put as for summer, it's... It's a long sleeve shirt with, it is my, uh, it's just a nice outfit, um, with a sweatshirt tied around my waist. Um, very cool. I really like how I flared that out as the sweatshirt around my waist. Um, if I didn't get the Go Brick Me set, I would not be able to do this because orange brackets, I think that's exclusive to that set. Uh, and, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but also... Thanks to an aunt or an uncle or something, like, I had, uh, I got, I found these pieces. These are Mega Bloks pieces. They are not re Lego. Just, uh, yeah. They're, uh, but they have the perfect pattern to look like my shirt. And uh, my, uh, yeah, my, uh, the shirt that I wanted to look like. And it looks just like it, and I really like it. Um... This, it's really nice. I'm really happy about how that turned out. And I really like the transition through the certain, you know, like, um, the certain sweatshirt. And, yeah, it's just a very nice uh, brick head, and I really like it. And, yeah, I even counted the pieces on this. I, yeah, it really is nice. So, yeah. Now, um, let's do the, end and let's do the um, ending of the video. So that was it. Make sure to like and subscribe if I uplifted your feeling of doing so. Um, put, comment down below if you really want to see another a how to build of any of these brickheads. Um, I don't know. Maybe you want 
any of these. Like, seriously. Like, these are really fun brickheads. Um, yeah. Like, I really like these brickheads, but, uh, and I wanted to show them off to you, guys. Um, put down your, uh, in the comments below which one was your favorite. And, yeah. Um, also, and, uh, cl click that bell so you never miss another video of mine. And, goodbye. See you guys later.